In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the derivative of an Euler exponential function. So if you're ever given an Euler exponential function and you're asked to calculate the derivative, one of the cool things about the Euler exponential function is that the derivative is actually equal to itself. But uh, it's, there's a little bit more to it than that. So the derivative of an Euler function is equal to itself times the derivative of x, or in other words, the derivative of e to the power of whatever is in this uh, exponent here, okay, is equal to e to the exponent times the derivative of the exponent. So uh, as an example, you might be given a function, we'll call it f at x, is equal to e to the power of x to the power of 2. So now the question becomes, how do you evaluate that derivative? Well, the derivative f prime at x, f prime at x, is equal to e to, to the power of x squared, e to the power of x squared, times the derivative of the exponent, okay, times the derivative of x squared. So the derivative of x squared when we use our power rule, we take the 2, multiply that by x, and then subtract the exponent, which will just be 1 here. Okay, and of course, you can go ahead and simplify it even further by just getting rid of the 1 because it, uh, you don't necessarily need to put that on there. So e to the power of x squared 2x. And that's it. Okay, so let's do one more example here. So let's say we are given a function here, another f at x function here. f at x is equal to two to the power two x to the power of four minus e cos three x. Okay, how do we get f prime at x? Well, again, it's that uh, we're using the exact same steps here. Okay, so f prime at x is going to be equal to, so here, what we're doing is we're just using our sum rule here. So this uh, term here, um, we're going to be doing the power rule for that. So 4 times 2 is 8x, and then 4 minus 1 is 3. Okay minus, now we're going to get into the actual derivative of the e function here. So in this case, e to the power of cos 3x, okay, so that's this term right here, e to the exponent, times, okay, times the derivative of cos 3x. Okay, and as we know, the derivative of a cos function is a sine function, or a negative sine, I should say. Okay, so times negative sine 3x, okay, and then times the derivative of the uh, whatever is in the bracket here, times 3. So to simplify this even further, we can write it as such, a to the x cubed plus, because the uh, two negative signs cancel out here, 3 sine 3x, three 3 sine 3x three times e to the power of cos 3x, cos 3x, that's this term right here. So there you have it, it's, uh, it's that simple, that's how you calculate the derivative of an Euler exponential function.